There we go. All right, cool. So there's two more stars down. Only a couple more to do here. Got Eel come out to play. And then we've also got the treasure chest uh, thing in the bottom over there. And I believe those are the only two that we can currently do. We need the metal cap to do the last one. So let's go ahead and just cannon our way over because that'll be a lot faster. <laughs> Uh, we'll just shoot, like, right there. And just start swimming. I guess I could go for the eel. I guess I could go for the eel. I think this is another one where you just have to... I think this is the one where you just have to hang out in front of him for a bit. Just taunt him. Yep, there he is. Get some coins to get my life back up. Is he already out? No, he's not. Okay. Then swim by him. There he is. Hey, buddy. Ow. Need you to not hit me, please. Need to get those coins. Okay. Let's go get some life. Yeah, so if you swim by him while he's in there, he'll just leave. Or, like, he'll leave eventually. I think when he was on... I still don't know what got him to actually leave uh, when he was still in the ship. Ah, but there's the star, so I just gotta get it from his tail. He's gonna try and go back inside. Oh. Okay, he just kind of zoomed right back in there. Okay. I don't think you even actually have to be in front of him. I think you can just... Yeah, it's like hang out right here. You don't want to get hit by his tail. Because that will also hurt you. Come on. Got him, okay. But I died. But I died in the process. <laughs> Triggered the star, died in the process. Yeah, that sounds about right for Mario 64. <laughs> All right, well, we know the strats this time. Let's try that again. All right, get this guy to come out of his hidey hole. I've managed to stick myself on the wall so I don't keep falling down, so that's pretty cool. His tail should be just about out. Yeah, there it is. Okay, and I swim faster than him. So, okay, got it triggered. I also got hit, so that hurts. But as long as I don't get hit again, and I get to these coins, should be okay. Okay. So I should just be able to go straight for the star, because he won't recollect it. He'll just go back in his hole. All right, cool. That wasn't too bad. So continue, one more to go. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. Yeah, this is the last one we can get here. So let's just not do that. Let's cannon. <laughs> Come on. All right. All right, Mario. You gonna, you gonna behave? I don't think he's gonna behave, but we're gonna try. All right, we're just gonna cannon like right there. That looks good. And we'll swim down to the depths. Back to the depths we go. Yeah, now that we mess with him, he'll just forever be circulating uh, around over here. I don't think he ever actually goes back in his hole now that we stole his treasure twice. Stole his treasure twice. But that's okay. Okay. So we just need to get... to... over here. I think it's top. Left. Right. And middle. 
Yep. There we go. That's one that will never leave my brain. I've had to do it so many times. <laughs> Here we go. Yay! Okay, that is all that we can do in that stage. At the moment, anyway. Okay, do I get wind cap? Oh yeah, I can get wind cap now. Nice. So let's go get wind cap. All right. It is. There is another uh, set of red coins that you can get here, and it's way easier to get them immediately upon spawning in. Uh, the farther down you go, the faster you end up going. Miss that one there. But if you can just actually manage to circle circle properly, uh, then this is a pretty simple one to get. Oh, okay. That barely worked. Okay. So then I just gotta get these guys. Cool. Ran out of wing cap. Yeah, you really gotta get them on one pass. Luckily, you don't lose a life for losing there. Uh, you just fall out. Yeah, it'll tell me to hit the red switch every time until I actually do it. But frankly, this is a lot easier to do. Basically, you have to get them all in one pass. If you mess up, then you're going to run out of wing cap before you can actually uh, get them all. Ah, uh, okay. I might be able to circle back around for those ones. The bottom ones are pretty easy to circle back around for. Anything above that is much, much more difficult. All right, well, that will open up all of the wing caps. So now I can get this guy. Let's see where, so there's two that I'm missing. There's the other two. Okay, so I need to get these guys which I might be able to do, but I don't think I probably will. It's very unlikely. Yeah, no, it's not. It's not going to happen. In order to get that star, you really do have to get at least the first six on the first pass. But now I unlock that so I can come here anytime I want. Yeah, really, as long as you can just control Mario, this isn't that bad. I say as I already messed it up. Okay, I messed it up twice, not going to be able to get it that time. <laughs> Again, luckily, you do not lose any lives for failing here. If you did, that would be pretty cruel, but luckily you do not. Honestly, the red coins in the cap stages, I feel like, are some of the harder star hardest stars to get. Because usually they require the usage of the cap, which a lot of times, well, every time, is limited. Uh, and a lot of times, if you mess up early on, then you just can't get it that run, and you just have to try it again. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately Mario does not fall quite fast enough to actually hang out with the ring of coins, but he does fall too fast. Well, really, it's mostly just that he doesn't fall quite fast enough. Um, okay, if I can get these guys. Okay, I need to really pay attention to my wing cap here. Yeah, I was just about to run out. Okay, that was really close, but there's only one more that I need to get. Should be able to do that here. There we go. Yeah, he falls just a little bit too fast to really be able to uh, accurately get... to be able to make up for lost ground. He falls too much to be able to make up for lost ground, but he doesn't fall quite enough to really follow along on that particular, on the ring of coins 
or the path of coins here. Just naturally, anyway. Okay. Where was it? Did I go the opposite direction of it? Okay, I need to find this thing first, then actually get the wing cap. Warrior is the coin I'm missing. Okay, so it is pretty much directly opposite. Got it. So let's get another wing cap. With the wing cap, you can always triangle jump. Or triple jump, I should say. There we go. Yeah, you can get those two from the bottom here, but you have pretty much have to get all the other six. Uh, I think it's technically possible to get the uh, fifth and sixth one uh, from this bottom layer if you're really good at wing cap, but I'm not, so <laughs> I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. You can also go through here. Let's check out this one. There are a lot of stars just in this first world. Oh wait, hang on, I just got wing cap. Let's go finish off Bob on Battlefield. <laughs> That's the only thing I needed to finish off Bob on Battlefield. Let's go do that. Because that'll be a real quick and easy star. Okay. So, now that we have the wing cap, uh, you can also activate flying by shooting out of cannons. So, let's go. Grab this wing cap. Go run back over here and go in the cannon. Alright, I want to shoot this way. Yeah, because that'll allow me to actually get all the way over here. Get another wing cap. On this cannon. Now, if you're really skilled, you can get all of these. What you need to do here is get all of these middle coins. Uh, you don't have to get them all in one pass, but if you're really skilled with the wing cap, you can. I almost did there. I only missed one of them. Let's see if I can find about which one it was. I think it was one of the middle ones. I'm moving too quickly here. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to go back in. I don't think I even need the wing cap for the one I'm missing. So I think it's that one. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it's honestly not that difficult to get all of them in one pass. And it's also just not that difficult of a star after you know what you're doing. A lot of the early game stars are pretty easy if you know what you're doing. They took a lot of figuring out as a kid, but since I am no longer a kid, they're not that bad. <laughs> All right, let's go to Womp's Fortress. Love Womp's Fortress. Is this one of the ones with a toad that will give me a star? There is a toad down here. Will you give me a star though? Bowser who stole the stars, I saw him with my own eyes. He's in six stars in each course, but you won't find them all in the same co in some courses until you press cap switches. Okay, yeah. So, already knew that, but sure. Chip off Womp's block. I love this stage. Hello, Lackitude Brothers, cutting in with a live update on Mario's progress. He's about to learn a technique for sneaking up on enemies. The trick is this, he has to walk very slowly in order to walk quietly. Okay, yeah, so if you walk very slowly, you can be quiet. Which is really only useful for piranha plants. I think they're the only enemies in the game that you actually need this for. But if you successfully do that, you get a blue coin, so that's pretty cool. This is another one of those stages that's really easy to get uh, 100 coins in, because there are tons of coins in this stage. Especially with all the womps. I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and try and get all the 
try and get the 100 coins now. Just because it's really easy to do. There's also the red coins, which is an additional or er, an additional 16 if you get them all. Not that concerned about it, though. There's more coins down here, too. Red coins aren't that bad in this one. The only real difficult one is that one right there. I <laughs> uh, need the... Actually, you don't need the cannon in this stage. Well, you do. You need the cannon for one specific star. They want you to also use the cannon to get the star up here, but it's actually not necessary. Uh, maybe I'll actually just go get that star. Just to get it out of the way. Because um, what you can do on this one is just backflip up there and wall jump. Like, what they want you to do is use the cannon, but if you just backflip and wall jump your way up there, uh, you can actually get it... Maybe it's a triple jump. Maybe a triple jump is works better here. But yeah, you can just wall jump your way up there, which is way easier. Okay. I need more momentum than that. Okay, yeah, I feel like uh, backflipping is definitely the way to do this. If you're... This is the uh, this is what speedrunners use, except they're a lot better at it than I am. Okay, come on. I got too far away from the wall there. Need more momentum. Come on. Hmm. Next, what you can do here is triangle jump your way up, which is way less deadly. Alright, I need camera to work with me here. Oh, I was able to do this just fine a, literally a minute ago. Why is it not working now? Why am I not jumping off this wall appropriately anymore? Okay. Okay. So it's it was a timing thing on my part, that's what it was. There we go! Yeah, that one's a little bit of a bitch to get to, but it's way less deadly to just wall jump up there rather than shooting into there with the uh, with the cannon. It's really easy to just fly off the edge with the cannon. <laughs> yeah, shooting into the wild blue. No thank you. You do need the cannon for one star and specifically though. So I will need to unlock the cannon regardless. Which I can't do in this stage, I don't think. I think I have to do it starting in the next one. 